So in the previous modules, we saw how we could calculate a z-score from a raw number, in this case, the z-score from total sale. And we also saw in another video how we could calculate the probability of the area under the curve from that particular point uh, to the left, using both the z-score and the actual raw score, as was done in column E and column from the raw score, uh, from the z-score, and from the raw score uh, in column F. So now we want to say, well, can we do the reverse? In other words, what percent, if, if we say that 90% or 91% of the curve lies below what point, uh, we're going to do an inverse probability. So again, we have our mean and standard deviation that we've calculated, and we will have our associated probabilities that were actually calculated from a previous video. And we want to know what's the point at which 91% of the curve lies. So. In this case, we're going to start with the raw score, and what we're going to do is we're actually going to use the norm inv function. So what the norm inv function does is it's going to give us the inverse of the probability. So we'll use this one, and it says, well, what probability do you wish to use? So in this case, we want the 91%, so we'll choose that. Then it asks for our mean, which we've calculated before, because this is going to be from a normally distributed data set, and the standard deviation for the same. We take that and it gives us our raw score of 80.34, which matches what our total sale was. Again, what we'll do is we will anchor these two numbers because we need to anchor the mean and the standard deviation. So we'll anchor those and then we'll copy this straight down and the raw scores will be identical to the column scores in B. Now, if we want to calculate the, the probability of, the, of a given z-score, uh, we're basically going to use a similar process. And the process is basically going to be, we're going to use the norm s inv function, and we're going to give it an associated probability. When we take the associated probability, and it could be either one because they are identical, you'll see that we get 1.3463 as, as our z-score, which is the same as the 1.3464 only rounded in column C. We'll take this and we'll copy it all the way down and you'll see that the numbers will match. What we'll do is we'll just move this over to the same significant digits so that we can see how well they match.